Carolyn Hill and Jennifer White is a dear friend of mine um, she has been for many years love her so much and she asked me to share with you um, from my experience uh, dealing with grief and how the Lord has given me fresh strength during the um, deepest parts of grief and so about three years ago October 25th 2016 I got a phone call um, that my dad had been killed in a car accident. And, you know, uh, when something like that happens, it's so shocking and um, comes out of nowhere, you know, so unexpected that it truly does take a while for a tragedy like that to sink in. And um, once it did start to sink in, I just felt like, um, grief would come in waves and it would just come and it would just hit me and, and at times I would feel like I was going under. And um, through it all, the Lord truly um, ministered to my heart in many different ways. Um, you know, there was a verse that I had known, you know, since I was a little girl, John three sixteen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him will not perish but will have eternal life. And although I'd always loved that verse uh, for the promise that it is, I um, really didn't know to the depths of what an incredible gift that really is, um, eternal life, and that this earth is not all there is. Um, you know, I was very blessed that my dad was a believer. And so I knew from the bottom of my heart that I would see him again in heaven. <clears throat> and so it was like a fresh strength I received from the Lord from that, that promise of John 3.16. Um, I think I, I thought I was grateful for my salvation and for my loved one's salvation. But then when I actually lost my dad, who I was very, very close to, and knowing that promise um, and knowing that I would see him again really gave me a fresh strength and it, it turned um, really my grief into praise and worship. Through the tears and through the pain, I was able to really worship at a deeper level of what Jesus had done for us on the cross, um, just knowing that I would be reunited with my dad again. So, um, Right when that happened, you know, that was October 25th, it wasn't long until we had the holidays coming up. And so a few things that really helped me and our family was we just came to terms with knowing things would never be the same without my dad. And so we intentionally did things differently, um, not to forget about my dad and not, uh, not to act like, you know, he'd never been there, but yet, just to do things totally different. So for an example, um, for Thanksgiving, we went to a football game on Thanksgiving Day. Um, and then uh, we had dinner, Thanksgiving dinner, in a completely different place than we'd ever had it before. And we did remember my dad, but that really helped us. It helped us to be able to um, move on and know that he would want us to enjoy one another and not dwell on what was, but just knowing where he, where he was in heaven and being able to just do something completely different. And we kind of continued that um, into Christmas. We met at my sister's house instead of my parents' house for Christmas. And, you know, we just kind of started doing some new traditions. And um, we would remember my dad but we would try to move forward by doing some new things, and that really helped us a lot. Another thing that was very helpful for me was um, realizing that everyone grieves differently and being okay with that. 
Um, I'm a crier and I need to be alone and cry at times. My sister, on the other hand, she's a doer. She wants to just continue um, being busy and keeping her mind busy. And um, you know, it's okay. We grieve differently. I also asked the Lord to help me and give me um, people that were safe people to grieve with and to express my emotions with because not everybody um, is emotionally prepared to help you through your grief. Um, especially like for me, I, I needed to cry. I needed to express my hurt and pain. And I just prayed and asked the Lord to provide people that were safe people to do that with that wouldn't, you know, be overwhelmed by that and that they would be able to just let me let me cry and he did provide that um so you know the main thing is i continually ask the lord for help i knew that i couldn't get through that kind of grief and pain without his help and he would send me what i call jesus hugs just people who would um to send me a little text or a call or a cup of coffee or different things like that, a card. It, it's amazing what things like that can do just to encourage our hearts that um, he's, he's with us, he knows our pain, he knows how much we're hurting and he wants to love on us and get us through it, whether it's with his word and scriptures, a worship song or, or a person that comes along and just tries to, you know, give us a little encouragement. But, um, he is good, and He does uh, get us through our, our deepest hurts and pains and gives us fresh strength, and I'm so thankful for that. 